Hello everybody, this is Utsu Singh from Smart Tech and today I'm going to show you guys how to turn this ungrouped mess into something much more organized like this. Okay, so as you can see everything is grouped like the way I need it to be. So blinks, geographical, normals, roughness static switch parameter values that is actually the default one vector parameter wall displacement scalars are set by default vectors are set by default texture parameter values these are by the defaults but i had to group these textures according to my need so how did i do it i'll show you now for instance in my in my organized one i have in my parameters I have an option called group so I set this to roughness I all you have to do is select like this this and this and select my roughness and just actually not select tab in something like this okay so it will create a group according to the name and if it is and it has to a parameter of course as the parameters show up here so I'm going to show you guys how to basically do it. I'm just going to right click um, material. Wow. Um, yeah, way better. Now let's just say I have something like three vectors convert to parameter. I'm going to name this color. So this is going to serve as my base color right and just hold this and left click to create a scalar value name this metallic and this is going to be a metallic I'm going to do something like specular again hold this and go for roughness and now let's just say I have another thing another three vector convert to parameter normals right and my normals will go into my normal again don't set anything right now just apply hmm. now as you can see I have my material right click create material instance I'm not gonna bother renaming now there is something that you might have noticed there is uh, it has automatically grouped our material even though here it is set to none it is it has automatically grouped by the type but in small materials it is pretty good but in large materials um let's just say it becomes a great pain in the head uh, so like you have 20 or so scalar parameter values name um, ordered alphabetically which you don't want you want them to be grouped according to the function they have so that it um, gives the user more that it is more user friendly and especially if you are putting something on a marketplace or something like that okay so here it is like metallic roughness I'm going to just select these values for once so that I don't have just something I want metallic of one normals are zero so it has it doesn't have any surface data I want to actually set my blue to one okay and blue to one here we go now I have my roughness um, this black stuff I don't know what that is I really don't need to care right now set this to 0.5 or 1 roughness I think I will leave it the way it is so with the specular now I want to group this like I want to say the color it gets in the base color and my normal comes under my normal okay so what you have to do go to color base color normals group it by the name normals metallic specular and roughness I'm gonna do base 
constants actually something like default constants right so now it has it will be grouped the way I want it to be okay just let it say for a while now as you can see I have my base color and under that I have my color vector parameter and my normals according to my normals default constants come here um, metallic reference vector okay so let's just say I want my normals to be above my constants right and the base color should stay the way it is base color normals and default constant constants so what you can do is go to color make sure the sort priority is under is zero that is the topmost then I want to set my normals after that that is one and my um, default constants after one that is two sort priority will sort it according to the numbers then first zero then one then two then three then four then five then six um, that's how it works okay now as you can see this is a one thing I am experiencing this quite a lot nowadays especially in the 4.19 that is I am recording in or maybe hmm, maybe I need to set this this should be zero this stuff should stay at one okay so both the zero zeros will be done alphabetically and the constants should be according which they are not um, maybe it's just a bug or something that they overlooked I don't know how it came here or maybe I'm just using this wrong right now maybe they changed something okay so this should work if you are using 4.18 or something I'm using 4.19 so well doesn't matter now as you can see guys I have shown you how to organize your material according to your will base color default constant normal so thanks for watching make sure, um, actually it's up to you if you want to subscribe for more videos if you like the video press the like button and make sure to share it so you know spread the word goodbye until next time